Can you guys hear me? <laughs> Please write in the chat. Yes, perfect. Thank you, Melissa Evans Snow. Welcome, welcome. And Sarah, I'm so glad that I finally get to talk to you guys. I mean, not in person, but it's almost like we finally get that much closer to each other. All right, hi, Isha, it's breaking up a bit. Is it clear, guys? My Wi-Fi should be very strong, I made sure of it. Um, so hopefully, if you're not in a very good um, location yourself, please try and find some strong Wi-Fi because this is going to get quite intense. That would be great. Clear here, perfect, okay. So make sure you guys have awesome, loud and clear. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, hi Brandon. Hi, Allison. Okay, we're going to get started as people start to roll in. I'm glad you guys are here. I'm going to share my screen with you guys so you can see what uh, is going on. Hold on. Okay, can everyone see my screen? All are at me. Okay. We all good, guys? Make sure you turn off your microphone, so mute yourself. Okay. All right. I guess we should get started. I'm just going to try and drag this out of the way. Uh -oh. Oops. Can you guys all see this? Hold on. Somebody can just double check guys and make sure that your microphone is off because I can hear um, somebody or maybe a couple of people and I just don't want any feedback. All right, guys, here we go. Yes, someone's on. <laughs> I'm not sure who that is. There is a icon at the bottom of your screen in the Zoom app. Make sure you press mute, everyone. That would be great. Okay, so let's get started. You are here because you want to learn about how to attract clients, build credibility, and be known. And I'm here to tell you that it requires a lot, a lot of hustle and grind, but it is absolutely worth it. So I'm going to tell you exactly how I've done everything, sort of some of the tactics, strategies that have helped me acquire some of the goals that I've had for myself. And you know what, your goals might be similar, your goals might be different. So I want you guys to take everything you learned today and see how you can apply it and implement it in your own business, in your own life. So um, in the end, I'm going to hold off all of the Q&A because I do want to get to know who's here and um, you know what occupation you guys are. I think a lot of you are body workers, but I think there are some fitness people here as well and some wellness people. So today we're going to cover how do I get clients, what are the ways in which to get clients, and I'm going to cover a little bit of how do I get the clients I want. Okay. And this is over time that you'll start to understand who you actually want to work with. So in my therapy, who I want to stretch. And um, they're all very specific in your way of getting a particular demographic. Okay, so if you don't know who I am and if it's your first time seeing me or you started to follow me recently, I'm Sarah and I'm also known as the stretch therapist. And in three years, I grew to 96.4K. Actually, that's grown in the last few hours, actually. I think some of my people are on here that can check. And uh, we've grown to seven plus team members, three online programs, and I can't wait to tell you all about that. And I've been able to stretch some amazing pro athletes and celebrities. So these are just a few of the people I've gotten to work with, um, the ones that I did not sign an NDA with, but <laughs> there are a lot of other people that um, if you do decide to work with them, you'll have to sign a non-disclosure agreement. 
So I want you guys to stay with me all the way till the end. I'm going to try and get this done in um, ooh, 40 minutes. Time me because the system will kick us out in 40 minutes. So good luck. Um, what you're going to get at the end if you stay is our free downloads. You're going to get a step-by-step -step checklist. How to partner with local and influencers. So this is just an example here to your left. And uh, setting up in setting up Instagram so they could so it converts. So I'm going to show you exactly the steps you need to set up your Instagram so it converts to. I'm guessing that you guys want clients, right? So, Rena, I'm going to give you that download at the very end, and then you're going to get a bunch of email swipes. So this is I found this really helpful when somebody gave this to me. And what email swipes are? It's basically what I have emailed people in order to connect with them or to work with them. So it's great to have the exact sort of wording, which is helpful. Okay, and again, stay till the end and you'll learn how to access that free download. All right, just a little bit more background. I started my own personal training business back in 2011 and I became certified national stretch therapist in March of 2014. And I was doing both personal training and fascia stretch therapy. I bet there are a bunch of people on here that are doing both. And I switched completely to fascia therapy in the summer of 2016. I did this because I realized that is where I really wanted to devote all of my time and effort. I wasn't passionate about personal training anymore. And I knew that in the summer of 16, 2016, that there would be a dip in revenue. So I had prepared for that. And I want you guys to think about if you if you do decide to switch, there will be a drop in revenue because your clientele is going to be different now. Your training clients, or you're doing um, if, I don't know, yoga clients, they're and you decide to do um, therapy work. So even if it's energy work or stretch therapy, you have to plan for a dip in revenue. Um, and then I spent the whole summer of 2016 learning how to do online marketing and learning how to build my Instagram. And I got, because I was testing a lot of things out that summer, I got my first major client in July 2016. It was Harley Pasternak. He was an inspiration of mine. He is a celebrity personal trainer and he's here from Toronto. And he reached out to me on Facebook and I don't really use Facebook so that was really cool um, and then in September of 2016 that's when I really learned how to build my Instagram I learned the angles how to how to um, edit the videos how which apps to use how to make it look good and then also how to draw eyes and we'll get to that a little bit later on um, I was able to build a steady clientele by winter of 2016. And then in the spring of 2017, I was able to stretch Will Smith, who is one of my all time favorite childhood <laughs> heroes. In the summer of 2017, I got to stretch some of the Raptors. And then I went and embarked on my stretch tour in the summer and fall of 2017. So if you don't know what the stretch tour is, that's when I went all across Canada and offered stretches, um, which was really neat. I got to meet a lot of my followers. It was nice, they had booked before, and I got to connect with other fascial stretch therapy, stretch therapists all over Canada. That was really awesome and super fun. And if you've never traveled all throughout Canada, you must, because it's beautiful. And then I got to work with a major Grammy Award winning artist, August 2017, and I've been with him since. And so that's cool. And, you know, if you like to fly to places, you know, they've flown me to, to the UK and, and Nashville and stuff. Um, if that's something you want to do, you can absolutely work towards that. I don't love traveling to people. So again, it's going to be an individual preference. And so 2018, I began building a team, which was a big fail because I'm awful at managing people. And <laughs> we'll get more into that. Um, and then I focused on online programs. So if that's something you want to get into, um, I don't fully talk about it in here, but um, I'll give you some options at the end. And then in 2019, this year, we finally built a team of seven plus with the help of 
you know, um, my team, which you may have met on my Instagram. So it's going really well. And so now in the uh, quarter of 2019, we're doing an education focus. And then in 2020, education and the stretch door. So I hope that gets you guys excited because I'm super pumped. So, but let's go into client acquisition and how to get clients. So the hustle, this, um, when I say the hustle, you have to put yourself out of your comfort zone and really just go for it. Okay. So my formula in building my brand and my business is the number one thing guys, and I've written about this a lot, is building strong, trusted relationships. So whenever I meet someone, I don't look at them as um, a sale to be made. Obviously that's a goal in the, in the short or long run, but it's to build a relationship, to understand, get to know them, see if we have anything in common, and if there's something that I can provide to help them find value in their life. So if they have certain pain points, so for us, if you're all body workers here or personal trainers, pain points might be they're constantly in pain or you know they've never been able to move properly or find strength. And so because I know exactly what I do as a stretch therapist, I help them through that. And I help try to help them in any way possible without sounding salesy, okay? And you have to add that with attractive, informative content. So it's not enough to just post on your Instagram. You have to make sure it's informative and you have to make it attractive so that eyes can come to you. But these two go hand in hand, strong relationships and content go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other because otherwise you won't be able to grow your social media following or get as many clients as you could potentially. You have a strong relationship because they will refer people to you or they'll post for you on their social media and the attractive informative content because obviously you want to position yourself as an expert in what you do. So when people come to your social media, that is your business card, okay guys? Whenever I go to events, I, sh I get them to add me on Instagram. I don't even have business cards anymore. This is the best way for them to see exactly what you do. So we're going to cover the first two in this webinar. It's the strong trusted relationships and attractive informative content. Sales and marketing, I dive that more into my person mastermind that's happening here in Toronto uh, November 3rd. Um, and then I'm going to be um, hosting some more courses in 2020. So when you have all three of these together, you can increase the number of your clients, increase the number of followers, bookings, revenue, brand awareness, recognition, quality of clientele, network exposure, expert status, and opportunities. And this is my formula. Okay. So I'm going to dive into that a little bit more. As I said, building relationships. So you want to think long term. So when you meet people, influencers, potential clients, prospects, all of that stuff, you think long term. Okay. So you're not thinking how can I get them to buy a session right away. You're thinking how can I build a relationship over time where they see me as valuable? So you want to provide that value. So helping them out. So you come into a relationship thinking how can I be helpful? And you want to be kind and genuine. There's nothing worse than someone selling something to you when it's so transparent. So you want to be genuine when you offer somebody something or if you ask for something. Again, when you're building these relationships, do not sell directly to them. You don't come off as aggressive and push them away. You want to think, build relationship, and then you want to help them with their pain points. And you're going to have to do complimentary services. I know people don't talk about this a lot. Even now, I'm still doing a lot of complimentary service. This is the best way for people to A, see who you are, know, like, and trust you, and then uh, refer out and then build your brand. So we're gonna talk about the concepts know, like, and trust. You might've heard this before. You want people to know exactly who you are. You want them to like you, and you want them to trust you. And that will open the gateway for them to buy things or book with you. Okay, so 
then we're going to talk about the attractive informative content. So this is an exercise for you to do and um, you can do this after we're done or even write it down if you're quick. You're going to write down your favorite IG accounts that you're drawn to and I want you to really consider why. Is it the color? Is it the consistency? Is it the theme? Is it uh, their personality? Is it the type of information? I want you to really consider that. So information is crucial, especially in the line of work that we do for all body workers here, or trainers or in the fitness realm. Information is crucial. So I'm gonna show you, if you've been on my Instagram already, you know a lot of my posts are information heavy. And I know a lot of people don't like having a lot of text and copy, but you want to kind of hone in on who your demographic is. And I really do believe in testing. So I test so many different types of posts if one doesn't do well, then I try another uh, version. Okay, so I want you not to be afraid of testing until you find that consistency. Again, quality and consistency. It's really important to have good quality photos or videos on your social media uh, or your website or whatever you're using or your blog. Um, especially nowadays, we have so many camera phones that have good quality. You want to make sure you use that and learn how to edit them so that they're eye-catching. Um, so I talk about more about the um, resources and apps that I use in my, um, in my Mastermind Day workshop. And um, in 2020, I'm gonna try and put out more of those resources for you. You always want, this is important guys, you wanna have a call to action. This is what CTA means, call to action. So you might notice in my Instagram, every time I post, there's always a question at the bottom or there's always a directive. I actually prefer questions because you wanna get them engaged. So I talked about it being a business card, okay? So you wanna dazzle people. So when you go to meet people, you wanna direct them to their, your Instagram, show them what you do and dazzle them. So you wanna be proud of your Instagram. So I want you to ask yourself right now, are you even proud of your Instagram or are you feeling quite lost? We're going to get a little bit deeper into the Instagram content later on. Okay. So there are two ways to get clients offline and online. Okay. I'm going to first talk about the offline because that's the best way to build a relationship. So you'll see why this all goes hand in hand. You, are going, this is how I've done it for the last couple of years, partnering with local businesses and events. That is the best way to get clients in your community, okay? And I'm gonna talk exactly step-by-step step how I do that. Next is connecting with influential members of the community. That's not just social media influencers, that's even, you know, you can even go as far as politicians, you can go as far as CEOs of companies, I'm not even joking. Like I've reached out to anyone from any industry. You could even reach out to, um, uh, what do you, like the media people, like the hosts and news anchors and things like that. And um, actually there, that's a whole other industry to tap into, which is great because they're so well connected. Um, so those are the two I'm going to talk about in terms of offline. There are other ways too, obviously referral system, hosting your own seminars, speaking engagements and media. Obviously we don't have enough time to talk about all of those things. Um, so I'm going to focus on the first two. Okay. And then online, you can get clients through your website, social media, email campaigns, online publications and blogs, podcasts, ads, and SEO. I'm not gonna dive into the ads, SEO, and all that stuff. I'm just focusing on the social media, Instagram portion, um, just because we only have like 20 minutes left. <laughs> okay, offline marketing. So this is where you're gonna wanna partner with local businesses and events. So if you're all, even if you're not a body worker, even if you're a personal trainer, I did this so much in the very beginning, and I still do. So step one, you're going to reach out to local businesses in person is the best way. I mean, you can send out an email, set that up first and then go if you prefer that route. Um, that's also, that's also okay too. But I like to go straight into the businesses and just chat them up and just sort of put feelers out and see 
what they're like, if there's a potential to work together, if there's, um, if you're feeling you're both aligned. So reach out to these owners, managers, or the influential instructors are even great too, because the instructors, they have diehard fans that take their classes every single day or every single week. And if they tell them you need to go see uh, Susie, who's the best stretch therapist, then they'll go. So you want to build those connection, the connections with those people. I even want you to write these out, even write out owners, managers, people, gyms nearby, or, I mean, it doesn't even have to be a gym. It can be any corporate companies nearby. Now, step two, once you meet them and you start to build a relationship and you feel like it's a good fit, you have to, have to, have to follow up with an email and a call to action. You're going to be very cordial and say, hey, thank you for meeting up. I love what we talked about. And then you want to sort of summarize what you talked about because, you know, you've talked about so many things they might not even remember. If you say, you know, what? we had such a great conversation. Um, we talked about potentially working together on this new venture or something like that. The call to action is um, this is the time to offer them a complimentary service. So I'll often say, you know, it was so inspiring to meet with you. Thank you so much. I look forward to working together. I'd love for you to come in for a complimentary stretch. And that's a great way for you when they're on your table to get to know them more, build more of that relationship, and then try and figure out a plan of action that benefits both of you. So it's not enough to get them through the door and onto your table. You have to be prepared with an offer where you guys can benefit from each other. You're gonna wanna set up a referral system with them. So this is exactly what I was talking about. And I would start off small, you know, offer them 20%, for example, this is just an example, 20% off every time you come in and please extend this to your staff, okay? And then as you get to know them, you, or even on that, same conversation, you can say any of your customers that come through, they get 10% off. But you wanna make sure you put this in writing and make this easy for them to uh, implement. So you're gonna send them, you're gonna come up with a coupon or write up the email for them that they can send on their newsletter. You wanna make it easy for them because otherwise they won't do it. Now, this is important, when they come in for that complimentary stretch, you wanna collect content so this is the best time and I know it's different for every body work um, entity like sometimes I know you can't record content if you're a massage therapist and things like that so you have to be creative maybe um, at the end doing a, a movement with them that is this is different for we're able to and personal training, of course, you can take content. So even just taking a picture, maybe. Maybe a picture if you can't do a video. But make sure it's good quality. You have good lighting. There's nothing worse than shooting in a dark room, and then you can't even edit it, and no one can see it. And take a testimonial. Take a video testimonial. So after they're done your um, session, fitness, massage, whatever, take a testimonial, a video one, just if they're ask, obviously ask them if they're comfortable and then say, hey, um, can I take a quick testimonial and ask them questions on the video because everyone gets a little bit camera shy when they just have to talk directly. So say, hey, how did you feel about the stretch? What did you feel like when you came in? And then what did you come in? How did you feel after you came out? Make it simple. That's it. All right, and again, follow, 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 follow up, follow up with an email, let them know you had a great session, that they did great. If you gave them homework, say this is the homework we're talking about, and you wanna make sure you keep that um, relationship active. And say, hey, just reminding you, you get 20% off the next time you come in. Do you wanna book it in? I have Thursday available. So you wanna set it all up. So you don't leave it open-ended. Don't just say, let me know when you want to come in. Again, feel it out. But if you feel like you can set something up and be like, you know what, we talked about how you would really need this weekly. I would love for you to come in on Thursday. I have like good news. I have a spot. 
at 5 p.m. on Thursday. And then this is when you want to find out if there are any events that you can be a part of or throw together, so a grand opening, a challenge coming up, a contest. This is a great time for you to go with your table if you're a body worker, set it up, and start to um, do some outreach at this event. This is huge for me. I would, when I first started, I would go to CrossFit local competitions to bring my, drag my table and set it up and just reach out to people and say, hey, I'm offering complimentary stretches, 10 minutes each. Would you like to jump on the table and make sure you collect their email? I'm gonna get more into this in the next slide. Okay. So don't worry guys, I'm going to send you guys these slides. <laughs> so don't feel like you have to rush and write everything. I should have mentioned that ahead of time. And um, like I said earlier, later on, do, do um, a little exercise and write out a list of these local businesses that you want to reach out to. Okay, so segue into community events. So the truth is long, tiring, and real, but very rewarding. So yes, dragging your table to one studio one week and then to another and to another can get really tiring, but if you have systems in place, it can be very rewarding. And I'll again go into it here, step by step on how to do that, and it's all about collecting those emails. Okay, so you're gonna contact your local um, gym or sporting event, corporations, studios, whatever you're interested in, and then email them first and then DM. Okay, so if you know that there's a marathon, a Lululemon marathon coming up in, I don't know, nine months, you, some of these bigger organizations, you're gonna have to reach out way ahead. Um, so let's say it's a Lululemon event, you wanna reach out a year before if you can, maybe eight months ahead, and let them know that you're interested in offering your services there. And you wanna make sure you know who the main point of contact is. So you're gonna to have to do some digging. So Google, who is the PR person, or who's the community events organizer. You don't want to send out an email that's random. Like, hey, um, I'm gonna be offering my services. You wanna say, hey, Todd, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Again, you want to offer the owners or the host of the event a free stretch um, just to, you know, offer goodwill and also develop that relationship I was talking about because they'd be more inclined to allow you to be a part of their event. This is when you, let's say they say yes, you're more than welcome to come. You have to promote this on your socials or your email list or to your friends. Tell them, come to the Lululemon run, I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna be uh, in this corner or at the end of the race. Let people know because you wanna just get into the habit of stirring up, uh, drumming up excitement and you want people to come through, even if they're your friends, you know? That will help boost your confidence as well. And like I said, collect emails. Now you wanna do this digitally uh, or at least electronically. So if you're at a marathon, you wanna have, I mean, you could bring your laptop or I find it's really helpful to have like a mini iPad and then they can type in their emails there. And then you make, wanna make sure you convert those emails into your email provider. So that could be MailChimp or Constant Contact or anything else that you use. So a little bit more into the tech stuff at my mastermind and in my online programs that I'll be releasing soon. Now, as I said, I'm going to repeat myself, have a unique offer ready at the event. Okay. So you want to go to the event, um, letting them know that, you know what, if you come through um, and book an appointment with me, you'll get 20% off, something like that. So have it ready so that they'll be hooked in some way. <clears throat> and again, collect content. So in this respect, when you're going to be at events and it's really busy, you might not necessarily be able to record it as a video, but take a picture with them. So after you've stretched them and you put a smile on their face, take a picture with them. 
And if they're able, get a testimonial. I used to get the, um, just take pictures with whoever I stretch with big smiles on our faces and then just post it on my social media. And it, obviously it's good for optics. It makes you look busy because you are. This one's really fun. You can set up a raffle for a free service at the event. So say anyone who's come through, you're gonna be entered to win a free 60 minute stretch and uh, you'll email them. So you wanna, oops. So you wanna um, make sure you get that email and then give them some a reason to give your email. Oops. Okay, and then follow up with the email and then you can go into a referral system, like I said, where you tell them if you have any friends and family that come in, they get 10% off and you get 10% off. You're gonna have to play around with that. I'm blasting through the referral system because that's something I go deeper in at the mastermind. And keep nurturing those relationships. So check in every once in a while, follow them on social media, people that you've stretched, even at the events, I'll follow them and and show goodwill and, and support them. Even if it's just random posts that they're posting, put a smile on smiley and say, how are you doing? Like, you look great. <clears throat> and again, write out a list of community events that you wanna be a part of. Okay. So these are examples of some of the uh, emails I've written out to people when I need to either work with them. So the one on the left here is for uh, reaching out to an influencer. And then the one on the right is a follow-up email after a Terry Fox run. And then another one is wanting to work with a brand like, um, it was a local Toronto brand called Tatika. I'm gonna give you guys at the very end of this webinar, you guys are gonna get these email swipes. We call them swipes. So they're templates that you can uh, copy and paste and make your own and, and put your names and change some of the information there. Does that sound good guys? I found that really helpful to have like email swipes because I there's nothing more than I hate them writing copy all the time. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna blast through this because we're not diving too much into this because I want to get to the Instagram um, stuff. Okay. Um, connecting with influencers is the same way I said when you connect with owners and um, managers of a gym. Same thing with influencers. Obviously, you can't go to them physically, so you can send them an email or a DM. But you want to say that they've inspired you and then offer them a complimentary service. Don't ask for anything. Don't ask them to post for you, nothing like that, because that will just turn them off. All right. And that goes with media. If you want to be on, let's say, the day show or something, that's really hard. Okay, maybe something more local, um, you want to do your research and find out who is in charge of the PR or the collaborations or um, recruitment and send them a direct message and make them an offer they can't refuse. And I give you an example again here in the left, um, give them ideas for them because these media outlets are always looking for ideas. So provide those ideas for them. And of course you can do host your own seminars and speak engagement. This is a great way to get information out and get clients. It's great conversion. It requires a lot more work. You're going to and talk at events, but they're really great. Okay. We only have six minutes guys. This is, uh, is going to cut it off soon. So I'm gonna blast through this and send you guys these um, slides. So actually, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? No, okay. So when you have your Instagram, um, you wanna convert it to your business account. You should have done that by now and be clear in your messaging. So if you take a look at my bio here, okay, sorry, sorry. This bio isn't uh, the one that you should be doing now because I've gained enough of a following, I can change up what's in my bio, so I'm using it for promos. But when you look at your Instagram, what does it say? Does it say that you're a massage therapist that does Reiki, cupping, acupuncture, taping? That is confusing to everyone. So you need to simplify your message. What exactly are you helping them with? Is Your Instagram should be about the people you wanna help. It shouldn't be about you. So 
put, check your ego at the door. What can you help people with? So when I started this, I put, I stretch people. I mean, oh, I'd prefer you would go more specific and say, I stretch moms who suffer postpartum depression. You can go sp specific. You need to know who your demographic is. And I knew my demographic were young professionals who are active. Okay, and you really need to hone that in. Otherwise, who are you talking to? The message is gonna get lost and no one's gonna understand what you're talking about. What is the goal of your Instagram? Are you trying to get booking, clients, followers, likes, video views? You have to decide what that is because how you set up your Instagram will determine um, what or so the what your goal of Instagram will determine how you set up your Instagram. So I drive everyone to my webpage because I want them to book a stretch or buy a program, and I need them to go through the webpage because that's where the analytics are. So I want you guys to start getting into that mindset where you have to start collecting collecting data. We don't have don't have to be worried about it yet in the beginning, but you want to set it up so that everything is trackable, and we'll go through this further in future courses. I wish I could go through it now, but I have four minutes left. Okay, Instagram posts. So as you can see here, there are different ways you can make it really snazzy with um, an anatomy picture and then um, tell them what you're stretching. That takes so much work. I stopped doing it because it just took up too much of my time. So now I just focus on the videos making sure, making sure that they're high quality, they're clear, you can see the stretch, and it starts right where the stretch is and ends where I want it to end. So you don't want any lag time. You wanna make sure it's relevant, consistent, and informative. So you'll see down here in this picture, I talk about stretching the QL obliques, and then I show them how to do that. I even write down step by step. Uh, assume a seated position on the ground, drop your knees to the right. So anything that's informative, or you could be a little bit more technical and talk about um, why the QL or, you know, make it a little bit more information based for the average person or for your demographic. Catchy titles. So see so here, I put no time with an emoji. Try this stretch for your back. Um, you want to make it catchy, something that would draw your attention. And always have a call to action, as I mentioned at the bottom. So ask a question um, and, and fire up that engagement. So a good rule of thumb is to post every single day. But the caveat with that is you want to post every single day if you have an audience coming to you. So you have to do all of that offline work and networking and convince people to come to your Instagram. Now, this is if you don't want to use paid ads. So I don't use paid ads. Um, I spent a lot of time researching the right design for each post, what to write, and also connecting with other influencers who would be happy to post for me without my asking. Use your stories to direct them to your website and to your booking site. And I hope you guys have a good booking site already set up. I don't want people to book through email. No, 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 no. We have to automate everything. And the best way is to have them book through your booking site. Okay. So this is gonna end in two minutes. I'm gonna have to email you guys everything. Um, I am coming up with an online video course in January and I'm offering a pre-sale for all of you guys here at this webinar. You're gonna learn how to find your why, who your demographic is, what exactly your bio should be, how to set up your sales or booking funnel through Instagram, how to edit your videos, the apps you should use, the best booking systems, how to grow your following, engagement, increase, increase your bookings via IG. Oh my God, I'm gonna cut off here. Okay, so it's a video course and it's a video module that you can go at your own pace. You'll also be a part of a monitored private Facebook or Slack community group and powerful resources and worksheets. So it's total at $3,000 the value, the time I put into it is crazy. The actual price will be selling for $2.97 in January, but you guys are going to get it for 50% off and I'm gonna send you an email with that link so that you guys can purchase. I'm also doing this 
uh, mastermind workshop in Toronto, as you might have seen. I do a whole eight hours of what we talked about today, but we dive further in and we go through ex exactly how to build a business, not just Instagram or getting clients, it's everything, including how to start an online program, building your team and getting celebrity clients. And it's gonna cut me off. So this is the information. You also get 50% off to the mastermind if you use Beta Sarah by October 10. Okay, so we don't really have and I'm also doing online coaching. I want you guys to um, email me if you want more information because we're gonna get cut off soon. We didn't get to do a question uh, Q&A, so I want you guys to email me all of your questions. I'm so sorry. This is the first time I'm doing a webinar through Zoom. <laughs> so I hope you can forgive me, but I hope